I remember taking my last breath and looking up at the windshield wiper motor in the back of the Jeep. And then after that, I passed out. We knew Hurricane Harvey was coming, but we didn't think it was gonna be that bad. I made it probably three quarters of the way home and it turned into a whole nother storm. I was coming from that direction down there. I look over there by the gas stations and I see a bunch of cars underwater and everything. So I decided I was gonna pull off over here. And then as soon as I turned right, my car just felt like I, the ground came out from under me and then it instantly started sinking. Water was just filling up all around me and it encapsulated my whole car. There were waves, it was like you were in the ocean. I tried to open up the driver's side door and I couldn't get it open and I started nudging it with my body and I couldn't get it open. So I started kicking the front windshield. I kicked the windshield about 40 or 50 times and all there was was hairline cracks. I really thought that I would die. I don't know how I got out. The next thing I remember was just emerging out of the water and I was instantly back to life. After the accident, when I first drove, it was kind of scary, really. I could have like little flashbacks of it and I just picture the water rising and me being trapped in the Jeep. At the time of your accident, you know, you lost the skin, you lost some of the muscle, the fat that's underneath there. So everything over here is not actually supporting your ankle like it used to. So you've done amazingly well. Dr. Buckle does mean a lot to me. She's my version of a rock star. I'm just really thankful that she saved my leg because I wouldn't be here without her. This was the fixator that was on my leg after surgery. I keep it up there on my bookshelf just to remind me kind of where I've been and where I still need to go in terms of recovery. I had it on there for two months, slept with it, ate with it. This is the pin that was going through my heel. Up here is where they had the three pins that were going through my leg. The Hoffman fixator was put on to stabilize my foot and my ankle because my tendons and ligaments were ripped and torn. And it was really imperative to my recovery and getting me where I am today to be able to walk around and starting to lift weights again. I didn't know if you'd ever be walking again when it first happened. I didn't feel like I was ever gonna walk again. I am proud of you how you went through all this and came through it, how you handled it. Very proud. <laughs> As far as coming to terms with everything that happened, I don't, I think that that's a lengthy process, but we're making steps to get back on the right path and get things back to normal.